You know what? All I have to say is these housemates have tried. Yeah, it's time for them to go home. I mean, <laughs> tonight's jacuzzi party. Oh God, it was horrible. It was boring. <laughs> Guys, if you imagine millions of viewers just sitting in front of their TV like this, waiting for some action to happen, waiting for some drama. And then, yeah, some sort of kind of drama happened. But guys, as I said, these housemates, they've tried. I feel like they don't have any more juice to give to us. They don't have any more content to give to us. They're exhausted. They've exhausted and expended all their energy of entertainment. It's over. And let Sunday just come, let the winner be announced, and let them go home and go and rest. They don't try. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah, and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. This particular video is all about the Friday night jacuzzi party. Well, let's call it the last, the final Friday night jacuzzi party in the Shanghai mansion before the end of this season of Big Brother Niger. And guys, tonight I was pretty much disappointed because I was expecting a bomb ass party. I was expecting a party filled with so much excitement, so much enthusiasm, so much happiness, you know, so much celebration. But guys, sadly, it may seem as though the housemates have actually exhausted all their excitement earlier in the day when Biggie actually serenaded them with different songs as usual and they danced and danced and danced rejoicing, celebrating, you know, the fact that they got to the finals. And so guys, probably all that energy is lost during the day as tonight they were kind of tired it was very very obvious that even Liko Rose, who is the energy goddess for dancing during the parties was so exhausted that she could not even really dance much guys the only person or two people that literally carried the party on their backs were angel and cross and sadly those two they had some crazy tensioning drama between them which i'm going to be sharing right now so for reasons best known to angel she has been avoiding cross for the past two days guys cross has tried having a conversation with her but it's not working at all at all now the first time angel actually gave cross this kind of attitude was um i think um last week and when Perry had gone ahead to have a conversation with her she had disclosed to Perry that the reason why she was keeping her distance from cross was because she felt like she was catching feelings for cross she was growing too attached to cross and so the best way for her to not catch feelings for cross is to detach herself from him avoid him ignore him and give him that space and guys we thought that, that was going to be the end of their friendship but then both of them had actually come back together as friends then fast forward to the fake live eviction of angel last week sunday guys um we felt like okay um as much as cross had missed her if angel comes back into the house they probably would continue their should I say friends with benefits relationship? Guys, it only lasted for, I think, two, three days. And then before we knew it, Angel went back into a zone again. Now, the question that nobody can answer is, is it that Angel is still catching feelings for Cross and is, you know, deliberately avoiding or ignoring Cross because she's afraid of falling in love with him? Or could it be for some other reasons? Because the strange thing is, Angel has pretty much been interacting with every other housemate aside from Perry and cross and guys tonight she made it very very obvious usually when angel begins to give cross this attitude every friday night party or saturday night party we will see cross you know rushing to go and dance with angel and from there you know from grinding her dancing with her rocking her they would now end up kissing and then settling their whatever beef or should I say invisible beef that both of them have. But guys, tonight, Cross had had it up to here. Like he was literally done with Angel. He had given up on her completely as he had said the previous night. And so whilst Angel was dancing alone and not even really interacting with other housemates, Cross completely brought on his ignoring game. Like guys, Cross completely snubbed Angel. He was literally passing behind Angel left and right, dancing in front of Angel inside the jacuzzi. Like he was literally playing with Nicoros and Pere and White Money and every other housemate. But guys, he completely ignored Angel. Even when Big Brother played Nicoros' song, guys, Trust me, Cross just passed behind Angel and went to go and, you know, fraternize with the rest of the housemates and then he went back into the jacuzzi and guys, you need to see the dance battle that followed suit. Angel was behind Cross, giving us some crazy mad moves. 
Cross was inside the jacuzzi. He was giving us some mad moves as well, guys. And Kayo Day, yeah, yeah, man. Kayo Day was just busy. <laughs> Switching the camera from cross to angel, from angel to cross, cross to angel, guys. It was an intense battle of I no send you, I don't give a fuck about you. It was great. <laughs> now, whilst all these things was going on, Perry was literally bored. It was just so obvious, guys. It was as if old age was beginning to catch up with Perry. Perry could not even dance. He got up to dance, but then he was really tired. Oh my dude went to go and sit down one place and was just moving his head. White money decided to tie his his, his waist. To the gas cooker where he was actually um, barbecuing the chicken and the fish that they were going to eat and by the time it was done um, a dude sat down with his bottle of guinness and he was busy drinking and eating chicken and he was saying life is good life is good <laughs> guys it was all it was just a bunch of chaos tonight <laughs> the, the party was boring no doubt but all these little little dramas here and there just kind of spiced things up a bit and then guys the emma rose shape was not left out of the drama as a matter of fact nico rose was pretty much very very annoying tonight to emmanuel she kept on controlling him calling him emmanuel come baby come here this that, that. like she was literally commanding emmanuel and it was very very irritating because it was very obvious that emmanuel was seriously attracted to angel emmanuel wanted to go and dance with angel but because of how Nicoros was just all over him, controlling him here and there, at some point it was very obvious that the guy was kind of irritated. To the point that when they were going inside the house, he was just literally walking away from her. And she was like, uh -uh, is that how we are doing now, eh? Even the garden, she was like, oh, you don't even care about me anymore. You have seen me finish. So now you don't even send me anymore. But guys, Emmanuel was done. And this goes to tell you all that literally, I've been saying this on my channel, that these two people's relationship is a symbiotic relationship. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. You get into the finals, I get you to the finals. And now these people, they're in the finals, they're about to go back into the real world. Guys, I feel like Emmanuel is literally really trying to untangle himself from whatever it is he and Nico Rose are doing, guys. Because trust me, the Emmanuel I saw tonight was this guy that completely saw himself as a free agent. He does not want to be the, um, attached anymore to whatever that they are doing, guys. And Nico Rose was just lamenting, she was just complaining. But overall, in as much as the party was really, really boring, at least I had a good laugh watching um, Angel and Cross playing some mental games, you know, gaslighting each other here and there, you know, playing a game of silence, you know, ignoring each other, snobbing each other. Guys, it was really, really fun to watch. And I'm sure that Angel was kind of disappointed because I know that deep in her mind, she was expecting Cross to do the usual, you know, when she would ignore Cross, snobbing for a couple of days, you know, during the jacuzzi party or the Saturday night party, Cross would now go and dance with her and then they'll reconcile partially again. But guys, tonight, Cross decided to be the bitch. <laughs> like, dude, decided, hell no, you will stay in your own zone. Me, I will stay in my own zone and have my own fun. And for real, Cross sure did have his own fun. Angel, at some point, she felt kind of lonely and then she went into the house, danced for a bit by herself. Oh, she felt lonely and then she came out again. Guys, you know what? The drama is just plenty. Mio, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen between the Emma Rose people tomorrow. Because trust me, they've finally gone to bed. And it seems as though Emmanuel is very, very upset. And Liko Rose was busy apologizing. Still, I don't really know what yet she's apologizing for. They must have had a separate conversation that we, we did not hear about. But let's just wait and see. For those of you that actually caught up with the party, please go ahead and let me know your own observations in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another video because currently the guys are analyzing, psychoanalyzing Angel's attitude and they are spewing a lot of facts, but they are not done with the conversation. So I'll be bringing more juicy details about that to you all on another video. Have an amazing night rest. Bye.